Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So today I want to speak on the signs of the end time. The signs of the age. What will be the signs? But before I do so, I want to talk about briefly of something that uh, that was sent to me um, about Sweden. I believe it's Sweden. That Sweden is trying to host um, um, kind of uh, a sex competition. A sex competition <coughs> in the sense that people will come in a stadium with their partners or whatever and they will, you know, exhibit their sexual talents to entertain the crowd or the audience and they'll be voted, something like that. I read it and I, I did not see anything wrong with that. <coughs> Why did I say so? <clears throat> Because it's a display of stupidity, and I don't have to comment in everything that I see or read. You don't, I don't have to tell adults how to behave. It is their way. Joshua said, for me, choose you whom to serve. For me and my family, we will serve the Lord. So it's their way of life. Let them live it. But what caught my attention is when I read responses from excuse me, church pastors from so-called preachers who condemned such and they tagged it as signs of, the, signs of end time or whatever. I felt, what, what are we talking about? Which is more, more good? Somebody that came out without deceit telling you this is what he or she wants to do, knowing that this is wrong and they say they want to do this, it's up to you to accept it or reject it, or someone that condemns such acts in the open and in the private, they do worse than that, which is, which is worst. There is nothing end time with what they are doing. It's nothing. There's nowhere in the Bible. So if you want to be scriptural, let us be realistic. What is end time is pastors sleeping with married women in their church. What is end time is when pastors become content creators on social media. They don't preach message of salvation. Nobody speaks about hellfire. Nobody speaks about rapture. They will come to tell you about prophecy that never existed. They will come <coughs> to lie to you. They will come to tell you to sow seed for their ministry. They will lie to you. They will steal from the poor. That is end time. When pastors have the beautiful girls in their church belongs to their, to their so-called daddy general or whatever. That is end time. Let us stop this nonsensical attitude of being too religious. That we don't reason like humans. Responsible humans. These pastors are the problems, not those that came out and said they want to do display their stupid acts in public. This is act of stupidity. It's up to them. And I don't blame them because the word of God is so rare. Those people know that these pastors are fools. So they felt, what is the need of serving God when all these people are not behaving well. Look at Roman Catholic Church that Apostle Paul founded in the Ephesus. Do you know that Paul is the founder of Catholic Church? But look at what Catholic Church has become. Where pedophiles hide in the pretense of being clergy, not getting married, but defy young children. That is end time. So, Apostle Paul will be weeping in heaven, knowing that the church he founded, he was the first priest in Ephesus. That's where Catholic was founded. But look at what it has turned out to be. So, I applaud those people that come out in the open and say they want to commit sin. 
I applaud them. And shame to those people that come and preach the gospel, but they are pedophiles. They are sex addicts, and they hide under the pretense of preaching the gospel to you. <coughs> now, what did Jesus say about end time? In Matthew 24, the disciples came to Jesus secretly. They want to know what will be the signs of the end time. In verse 3, they came and asked him, Master, what will be the signs of the end time? Jesus explained that to them. You will hear rumors of war. <coughs> Excuse me. You will hear rumors of war. He said, don't be deceived. A lot of people will come. Don't panic. That is not the sign. That is not the end time. It's, it's kind of a warm-up. Nations will rise against each other. It's something that will warm you up. Don't get deceived. But be careful because a lot of false Jesus will arise. A lot of false Christ will arise. People will come and tell you, I heal you in the name of Jesus. They'll perform signs, but that is not the real Jesus. I made this thing, I made mention of this during my second um, um, chance by God, things that he showed me. And I told you I saw this fake Jesus, this false Jesus, and this that the Bible, this Bible you see, will be redacted. This Bible will be updated. You see this scripture you're reading now? It will be updated. And it is your pastor, all this, your general overseers, all these people you believe are so-called men of God, they will disappoint you before your very eye. Because God has revealed this to, to few. All these people you see on television, they are healing and they'll cry and they call Jesus. You think they are calling the real Jesus? These are serpents. Listen, if you knew these people, the way I know them, by revelation, you will be happy to buy a ticket to go to Sweden and watch people display stupidity than to sit and listen to all these evil men. These evil men. These they are the real problem because the word of God is so rare. They don't preach to you the gospel. Nobody makes a tackle. They don't want to offend you because they know what they are doing. So Jesus says, these are the signs. When all this thing happens, know the end is near. Read Matthew 24 from verse 1 to the end that you may understand. So don't be too religious when you hear people committing sin. You say, oh, God forbid. There is nothing God to forget, to forbid. <coughs> there is nothing. God did not destroy Sodom and Gomorrah because of this type of act. Sodom did worst. They slept with man, slept with man, woman slept with woman. God did not destroy them because of that. People might quote Genesis 18, 19. Show me where God said, I destroyed Sodom because of their sexual immoralities. No, God did not destroy Sodom. But God destroyed Sodom. When God made that Genesis 18, 19, it was a reference of what they were doing. They neglected the poor. In Ezekiel 16, 49, God told you why he destroyed them. Because they neglected the poor. And the cry of the poor got to God. It's a shame. What is happening in the house of the Lord? So stop being dramatic on social media. You guys are all content creators. You, you just create content for to go viral. Not for the word of God to be to go viral and save souls, but for you to go viral. There's something that happened. <coughs> a certain pastor from East Africa, I'm not going to mention his name or his country. He was having issues with his church and he needed help. I'm going to be very brief. And he contacted me to pray. A certain person in government authority was tormenting the church and his prayer request for the person to die. And I was, I went to pray. And the Lord told me, if you pray a prayer of death, that pastor will die. I said, why? He said, the pastor is wicked and heartless. He's stealing from me. He's oppressing the poor. Money for me, he's using it for his own stuff. And like me, I told him, listen, I sent him a message. Say, hey, this is what the Lord said to me. You are the problem. And I told him, guess what? Guess what? He took it personal. But blessed are you when a prophet tells you the right thing. I told him the right message. The world needs to hear the right message of Christ. No matter who it hurts, God bless you.